This is Small Rig's new professional series video tripod. And basically what they've done with this tripod is the same thing they've done with a number of products and other tripods over the years, is they've taken all the features from very expensive professional level tripods, in this case, tripods that cost $2,000 or more, and they've taken them and they've made a budget version of that. And you can buy this tripod for around 20% of the price that you would a comparable sort of tripod with this level of functionality from somebody like uh, Benro or Manfrotto or one of the big name manufacturers. This tripod was sent out to me for the purpose of making this video, but all opinions are my own and Small Rig had no say in the making this video. I'll also put some links in the description down below if you're interested in current pricing and specifications for the tripod. Now, the first thing that you're going to notice when you have a look at this tripod is the carbon fiber legs. And they're not just there to look cool. They do a couple of things for us with this tripod. The first thing that they do is they make the tripod very, very stiff. This is good because when you have a smooth fluid head video head and you're turning it, you want that tripod to be stiff so the thing isn't flexing and moving around. What a lot of people don't realize when they think of carbon fiber, they think it's purely there for weight saving, but it's actually also there for stiffness. So in this case, we're getting a little bit of both. We are getting a lot more stiffness out of a carbon fiber leg than we would out of like an aluminum leg. We are also getting a lighter tripod. Now, this is by no means a light or travel tripod. It is still reasonably heavy, which is a good thing because it means that when you are doing your smooth pan and tilts, you also are not getting any sort of movement in the tripod. The other feature this tripod has that not all tripods have, particularly at this price point, is we have in here, we've got the bracing system that holds the legs sort of together and keeps them evenly spaced. But with cheaper tripods, what happens is this is a fixed length. That means that if you have the tripod down all the way in its smallest form, often you can't get these legs wide enough to create a stable base to be able to use the pan and tilt head. And what'll happen is the whole tripod will start moving when you're panning and tilting. Because we've got this extra adjustment here, what we're able to do particularly when we're in that lowest position, when we got this thing folded down, when we're maybe doing some tabletop sort of product shots or smooth pans at that sort of low level, what we're able to do is actually expand the distance these legs are from each other and create a more stable base regardless of how tall or how short the tripod is. One thing I have noticed after a little bit more use of this tripod is these adjustments that uh, determine how far spread out the legs are. If I have them in this position, you can see I can have the tripod in its maximum height and I can fold it up. But if I actually have these in their zero position and the tripod's at its maximum height and I try to fold them, the actual knobs hit the actual tripod legs themselves and you can't fold it up. And it seems like you will likely break it if you try and force it. So because of that, just to avoid that risk, you probably have to put them on number four on the slider to just make sure that if you do fold it up, maybe to move it around when it's in its maximum position, they sort of clear the, yeah, the actual tripod leg or the, the actual holder itself. Um, so that, that's a funny little quirk and not absolutely ideal, but um, just something you should be aware of. The other feature that you'll notice about this tripod is it has these levers to fold the legs up and down. But uniquely, this tripod only has one lever for each leg. Even though it has two sections that can be extended, you only flip the one lever to extend both sections. Now, I have found this to be a little bit of a double-edged sword because I really, when I'm setting up a tripod like this, which is half the height it can be, I actually want to just use this bigger leg and not the, not the smaller leg in the middle and have it like this. But when I am lifting up the tripod to sort of let these down, they don't always go out at an even rate and I have to kind of sort of push things around and get it into place the way that, that I want it. So you do get quite an advantage of only one lever, but you do have a little bit of finickiness if you're trying to sort of make them all evenly positioned like this, where you're using sort of the one section, but not, not the middle long section. The other thing about this tripod, which is 
unique, and I personally haven't seen in a tripod at all before, is it has these feet, and these feet will sit on a flat surface. They have sort of a rubber bottom on them, and they are adjustable to sort of whatever surface they're sitting on. But if you are in a situation where you're like sort of in dirt or rock or gravel or something like that, and these are just going to slide or slip or, you know, any sort of sort of normal organic earth type situation, you can actually take those feet off and you're going to have these little spikes and these will dig in to that and sort of hold them in place. So I really like this because a lot of tripods out there, you actually change the foot from one foot to another if you're on a different surface. With this one, you don't have to worry about carrying around or losing a second foot. You just take the foot off that's there and underneath it, it reveals the sort of all terrain foot. So I really like that. I thought that is super, super thoughtful and it is, it is not something I've seen on a tripod before. And the height adjustments on this tripod will go down to about waist level, just about tabletop height for sort of product B-roll and things like that. But then it will go up to sort of six foot five at the maximum, 197 centimeters. So you have a huge range as far as the height of the tripod goes. Now, as good as the tripod legs are, the star of the show in this tripod for me is the fluid head. By far, this is the best fluid head that Small Rig has ever put out, and it is one of the best fluid heads that I have ever used. It is completely stepless. You have an incredible range of adjustment as far as how stiff you want the actual head to be, and it sits in a bowl. This allows you to actually change the tripod head out for another bowl head if you want, but it also gives you the ability when you get to any surface and you wanna level it. I've just got a little ball level at the back here, so I just loosen this off, I get this little bubble level in the middle of the shot, I tighten it up, and now I know I have that perfectly level. In addition to that, it has two adjustments for the tension as far as the pan and the tilt goes. Now, to lock the tilt in place, it has a little lever at the back that you just lock in, and that will stop it from tilting anywhere. But if you want to tilt it and you want to control sort of how much tension you've got on that tilt, you've just got this collar here, and this turns and gives you incredibly fine adjustment for that pan motion. And the one thing I was worried about when I first got this tripod is I thought this would be great if somebody's doing sports, like maybe up in the stands following basketball or some sort of field sport, but I thought you wouldn't be able to actually reduce the tension enough to get a fast pan motion. I thought it was just gonna have too much resistance. But what I found is that's actually not the case. I was able to actually turn this off and you can get to a point where you still have resistance. You see it stops when I turn it, but is extremely smooth. So you could follow fast action sports with the pan on this. But then of course, if you're just doing product shots or you're sort of shooting people on, on a stage or a show or something like this or something for new news, then you just sort of tighten it down and then you're gonna get sort of a bit more resistance. Also, the, the actual adjustment on this is what's called stepless. So there aren't clicks. It's just purely stepless. It's completely analog. And because of that, I can play with this until I've got my pan and my tilt access in identical settings as far as the tension goes. What this does is it makes it so I don't get the situation where I'm doing this jerky thing where I've got a different level of tension on the tilt than I've got the pan. So I can just sort of get this locked in to the exact same pan and tilt tension and it just makes the, the head very, very easy to use and you get super, super smooth motion. The head also comes with a handle which both extends so you can use it in the shorter position or have it this way for storage or you can extend it. It also can be swapped to from the right to the left hand side. So if you're sort of right or left handed, you can switch sides and use it on whatever side of the camera or the tripod head that you want. The quick release is also Manfrotto and DJI compliant or compatible. That means if you've got a DJI gimbal and you've got your sort of plate on your DJI gimbal, you can take that straight off and put it straight on onto this tripod without changing the plate at all. It also means if you've got any other Manfrotto compatible plates, you can swap it back and forth between your sort of Manfrotto and this tripod head. So any of those quick release plates, whether it be DJI or Manfrotto, are gonna work on this tripod. It obviously comes with a standard quick release plate that comes with the head as well. Now this tripod and head combination come with a maximum weight rating of 10 kilos or 22 pounds. And I can genuinely say 
This is definitely the best video tripod that I have ever used, and it's one of the smoothest video heads that I have ever used. And while I have nothing but good things to say about this tripod, there really are two things or two concerns that I probably should mention. The first one is I've only had this tripod for two weeks and I have no idea how the performance of this fluid head will hold up in the long term. I'm reasonably confident in the build of the legs and everything. I don't think there is a whole lot to go wrong there. But with a fluid head, there are different components in there that as they lose grease, there can be some fluctuation in how well they work. I have no reason to think that they won't work well in the long term, but I just don't have the experience to say whether they will or not. The only other thing that I will mention about this tripod is it is still an expensive tripod if you're not making any money in your video production. And if that's the case, Small Rig did previously release a very budget friendly under $160 video tripod. Now, it's nowhere near the performance of what you're gonna get out of this thing, but it is still a good beginner's video tripod and gets you a lot of that sort of video tripod functionality. And I've just thrown a video on screen now. This is a detailed review of that tripod. And if you find this tripod is a little bit out of your budget, then I would definitely check out this video.